Hi, today at Main Street Service Center we're working on an 06 Ford F-150 with a 5.4 and this isn't exactly how you like to see your truck. You would never consider changing the spark plugs as being such an incredibly huge job as it is on some of these Ford pickup trucks. Normally you don't have to pull the chassis and the cab off of the top of the off of the frame in order to be able to change the spark plugs but on some particular Ford F-150s that have this specific motor in it gaining access to the spark plug holes is is very hard the spark plug holes are right here in this particular vehicle and of course we've already got the valve cover off we've already got the upper intake manifold off this vehicle and everything so you can really get and see where everything goes the spark plugs actually go down in these holes like that and take a look at these spark plugs. These aren't your normal spark plugs. Uh, they're extremely long. They're made in a couple different sections where you've got the porcelain up here at the top. You've got an electrode that runs from right up here at the top and it goes all the way through and comes out right here at the bottom. And that's where that spark actually comes out at. Then you've got this center piece of steel and then you've got this lighter piece of steel right there. So you've got a lot of different parts that are put together. Terrible design, in my opinion, by the Ford uh, by the Ford engineers. And you can see here's what one looks like whenever it's come apart. Whenever you try to just stick a, a uh, spark plug wrench on it and try to pull it out, sometimes it comes out with the whole electrode. You can see where that um, you know that is um, supposed to come through all the way at the bottom, or you get it to where the the um, porcelain will break along with the electrode and just leaves this right here. Well, whenever the electrode comes out, we've got a glass drill bit that we can actually drill down into the porcelain and take a special tool and actually extract what's left of the spark plug down in the hole. But unfortunately, whenever we want to pull the spark plugs out of this particular truck, the electrode and everything stayed in three of the four plugs that we had already started with. Well, that right there became an issue to where the heads had to be pulled. So normally, again, you wouldn't normally have to pull the heads or, in this case, pull the uh, engine or the, cha or the cab off of the chassis uh, in order to gain access to it. But this is the quickest way to fix this particular job. So in order to change the spark plugs on this vehicle, we've got to, we're going to have to pull the heads, extract the spark plugs, and then put everything back together again. The um, thing about it is, is that we've got experience with this. This has been a problem, a known problem from Ford Motor Company for several years. And so the customer, whenever they came in and they were telling us what all they wanted done and everything, we were able to say, uh, by the way, uh, this is a situation that may uh, incur, in, incur you know, more problems because of the design and so on and uh, kind of give them a heads up of what was going on and so therefore uh, you know they said okay well it's got to be done anyway it's got 106,000 miles on it. it's not running too good the fuel mileage is way bad so let's go ahead and you know pull it off and see what we need to do and and so we started pulling the plugs and unfortunately they did break and and stuff now we've been successful in changing these spark plugs out all eight of them out without ever breaking one or we've broke them but been able to extract them with this special uh, tool that we've got. So, um, just because if you've got this Ford and uh, and has these type of spark plugs in it, doesn't mean that your cab's going to have to leave the chassis in order to be fixed. It's just a possibility. But the thing is, is Main Street Service Center, we take 24 years of experience, we share it with the customer, we give them the heads up and the, the understanding of what the possibilities may be so there's no surprises at the end of the day. And a lot of times, more times than not, we get to surprise the customer and say, hey, no issue. You know, we, we didn't run into any problem, we didn't have an issue, but at least they knew about it ahead of time. So if that's the type of shop that you're looking at, somebody's going to be looking out for, um, for you and try to give you information as much information as possible so you can make an informed decision. That's what Main Street Service Center is about. We've been in business uh, for 24 years, like I said. 620 Goblin Drive is our location. 741-4252 is our phone number. Give us a call and we'll be happy to take care of you. See our ad in Names and Numbers.